Hi, good day. This is Mrs. Taylor again. Um, thank you for the time for coming to listen to the tutorial on how to utilize the Jolly Phonics app to introduce new sounds to your child. To download the app, all you need to do is go to Google Play Store and in the search box, you're going to type in Jolly Phonics app free and the Jolly Phonics app will come up and all you need to do is download it from there. Once your app is loaded, you're going to find the icon on your screen and you're just going to go into the app. So you're going to just tap onto it. You will see that automatically it will open up into lessons and you will see also that the app is divided into different groups. You will see a group one, a group two, a group three, a group four, a group five, a group six and a group seven. These are the, all the 42 sounds that your child needs to learn this year um, but we are going to start um, at group three as we have already done group one and two in class once we have taught all, all this all the seven groups we then teach alternative spellings and we teach tricky words and uh, tricky words are also known as sight words and we will be doing a few of those but not uh, right now um, the teachers will let you know when we're going to start those as we are starting with group three, um, you will notice that there are six sounds in this group. It's the g, the a, the a, l, f, and b sounds. Um, we've already done g uh, last week, but I'm just going to go through the g sound um, to help you so that you know how to teach your child. You will see as we go inside, there will be different steps that we need to take to um, obviously teach the sound. And the really nice thing about the app is it actually keeps it in order for you so you know exactly what needs to be done. I'm going to go through all of these um, different steps for you. There's eight different steps and um, you will then know exactly how to go about teaching your child a new sound. Step number one is um, revision and you will see that on your screen um, the app starts to revise um, six sounds previously taught. Um, this is the time where your child will have a look at the sounds and try to recognize them. So they will look and then you'll say, what is the first sound that you see? And then they might say the t sound. Then you can ask them to just push onto the sound and then they can see if they're correct. So as I press, the app will actually tell me the sound. Um, you can do that for all six of those um, and obviously this um, layout is for every single sound that we have um, that we're going to be teaching. Uh, step number two is the story. So um, you need to read the story to your child. They won't be able to read this themselves. Um, and obviously, um, once the story's been read to them, you can go back and ask them many questions. And you can say, um, who filled the sink? Um, what happened to the sink? Um, who called for the plumber? So you can actually do a bit of comprehension with this as well. Um, it's quick, it's easy, it's just to make sure that they understand the story. Um, step number three is the action so you will see that the app actually tells you exactly how to teach the action and it will say to you what to do so the children pretend that their hand is the water spiraling down the drain saying g -g -g -g. so obviously that you teach your child to take the hand and to go um, in a spiraling motion and showing that the water is gurgling down the drain so step four is called the flashcard. Um, so we're going to do the flashcard and the formation um, under step four. So you will see um, that there is the letter G um, written down. Um, it's very important for a child to recognize the letter, but it is also important for them to be able to form the letter correctly. So we need to show them, first of all, what it looks like. And then we need to show them how to actually form the letter. Now, as this app is an app from the UK, not all the letter formations are 100% correct. So you will just need to check. Um, you will also see um, under our homework file um, how the letters are supposed to be formed. So in case it is different, um, you'll be able to look on the homework. Um, so what we're going to do is you need to say play. And it will actually... Um, make the letter for you. So let's just do that. So 
So you see it goes round, up, down, and around. So you can come up with little um, nice ways to try and get your child to remember how to form the letter. When we go back to the app, it will form it again, make a big round circle, down, and make a tail. Um, so that's um, flashcard and letter formation. So step five is uh, blending. Now blending is very important as your child is now going to take those individual letter sounds and put them together to form words. So um, you will see that there's uh, four words in front of you um, and uh, you can get your child to start reading them. So what you're going to do is they need to first um, say all the sounds and then start putting them together. For example, um, the first one is G, E, and T. But if we start putting them together, we're going to start going a bit faster and closer together as we speak. So we're going to go G, E, T, G, E, T, get. Then we can do that with gap. So it's G, A, P. And then if we're going to start blending it, it's G, A, P, G, A, P, gap. And we'll do that for all of those words. Now, if you want to extend your child, um, you can press on to more words. And you will see that there is quite a variety of words that they will be able to spell using all the sounds that we've learned up to this point. Um, if you click on the word, it will actually... Dig. It will actually say the individual sounds and give you the word... Um, and this the child can actually practice on their own if you don't have time to sit with them. So now we are on step six. And step six is sounding. So what your child needs to do is they need to look at the picture, um, say what they are seeing, and tell you if there is the g sound in that word. So for example, you can say, what is the first thing that you see? And they'll say it's a glass. So um, is there a g in the word glass? They need to listen for it. And if there is, then you say yes. And you'll move on to all the different um, pictures. So glass, plug, hen, and frog. Which one does not have the g sound in it? So they would say hen, and they would put on hen. And then the, the app will actually say that they are correct, that hen does not have a g sound in it. Frog. Um, if they happen to press... The frog, for example, goes at the end of the word. Um, so the child is not only listening for beginning sounds, they need to listen for sounds in the whole word. So middle sounds, um, end sounds, and beginning sounds. So step six is writing. Um, this is also linked to our handwriting. Um, so obviously your child will have to practice the sound that we are learning for that day in handwriting, which will probably be, will be the G sound. Um, but there's also other ones that they will have to try and remember. And the more they practice, the more they will remember how to write different sounds. So you will see that what you can do is you can call out the sounds below and ask the child to write them. You can write them in the sand. You can write them in a sugar tray. You can write them um, using Play-Doh. You can write them using a whiteboard marker on a whiteboard or chalk or whatever form that you can find for your child to actually practice writing down different sounds. Once you have practiced all of those six sounds, you will move down and practice actual writing of words. So now what the child has to do is they actually have to listen and have to try and decipher what sounds are in a word. So you would say the word sag and your child would need to listen to the word sag and try and figure out what sounds are in the word. So you can go sag and they can hear that there's a s, an a and a g sound which they'll put together to make the word sag. You would do all four of those words. If there's a word that your child does not understand um, so they might not understand what is what is sag, is sag something, what does it mean to sag? So you would need to explain to them what the word actually means. Now the last step um, that we need to do is the song. Um, this is obviously the favorite part um, of, of the whole thing for the children. They love to sing. Um, 
the only thing you need to remember is to make sure that you are doing the action that we learned previously at the top. So just go and refresh your memory. Remember the action that the children must pretend with their hand that the water is spiraling down the drain, saying the gh, gh, gh sound. So as they're singing the song, they are busy doing the action. And all you need to do is say play song and the song will play. And that is it. That's all you need to know. Um, it's very, very easy. It's very simple. Um, and this will really help your children um, with their phonics and it will give you um, a really good understanding on how to um, do all the different steps with your child and to make sure that they understand um, the phonics um, as we would teach it in class. Thank you for listening and I really appreciate your time and the effort you're putting in with your children. We really miss them a lot and we wish you all the best. Thank you.